a panel dynamic analysis on inward FDI and institutional quality in South Asia and Southeast Asia. This article is written by six authors. First author Fajana Layala. Second author Shapan Chandra Majumdar. Third author Bismarck Kusiapia. Fourth author Inaba Aka Arno Marshall. Fifth author Kichita Gerard Randolfi. Last author Abambi Chaur Del Carderil. Contribution and originality of the study is that, this study helps the policy makers to understand the loopholes of institutional quality such as political instability, inefficiency bureaucracy and corruption which may deter the smooth FDI inflows in the regions and take corrective actions against corruption. It will also allow for future analysis about the FDI inflows in a country. Through the global financial crisis, South Asia and Southeast Asia ratified their economic prospect and by increasing integration with the world economy, a demand boom by the Asian middle class and most importantly foreign direct investment. In this study, we focused on the FDI inflows. This study examined the impact of institutional quality on FDI inflows in South Asia and Southeast Asia from 1986 to 2016 using a panel-based approach. The result of unit roots suggested using panel ARDL. The panel ARDL results revealed that institutional quality strongly influences FDI inflows in Southeast Asia and weakly in South Asia. Our findings also revealed that economic factors are strongly significant in South Asia and institutional variables are strongly significant to attract FDI inflows in Southeast Asia. The weak regulatory system hampers South Asian countries as there is lack of transparency, accountability and public work. Therefore, this study suggests South Asia learn a lesson from Southeast Asia and make an improvement to their institutional quality. Thanks for watching this video of Asian Economic and Financial Review Volume 10 Issue Number 6.